every day. It's totally fine if they skip an entire day worth of meals. But if they skip several days in a row, that could be a sign something's wrong. So just to make sure that we know exactly what's going on with our birds, we keep these records so that we can see how they're doing. So a penguin who's eating less than usual might not be feeling too good. A penguin who's eating more than usual is getting ready to molt. We've got a couple molting penguins right now. We do, yeah. I don't know if anyone, does anyone see it? Oh, I see her. Mm -hmm. Oh, she looks bad. <laughs> so a lot of you folks over here on the left, you can see a penguin kind of over by that bubble window. And she, she's not looking so great, is she? She's having kind of a funky feather day. What in the world is going on? She, <laughs> that's kind of awesome. What is she doing? What's happening? Oh, that bird is molting. Uh, so every bird once a year has to go through what's called a catastrophic molt. This is part of being a penguin. I bet you didn't realize that to be a penguin, you got to go bald once a year. Uh, basically, most birds uh, in the world, uh, you know, they drop a feather here and there and grow their replacements all throughout the year. But penguins, if they did that, they'd have holes in their waterproofing. So what they do is the catastrophic molt. They lose every single feather on their entire bodies and they grow them all back over a couple of weeks. So right now we've got, to, looks like a bee over there has got most of her feathers fallen off and she is starting to grow the new ones down by her tail. Uh, so her head feathers are kind of, kind of the last ones to go. Yeah, so when these penguins molt, they start at the bottom and they work 